I hate shopping so much. Shopping sucks. Unless I'm shopping for tools. Okay. Let, let's differentiate that. Going to flea markets, getting tools, going to like Orchard Hardware, going to Rural King. Those are fun. Okay. Let's not call those shopping. Those are getting cool shit. What I hate is getting the stuff that you've already gotten before. You already know what you're going to get. You just want it so you don't starve to death. Or you don't have stinky teeth. Like toothpaste, I mean. And, yeah. It just, stores, especially grocery stores, they just suck your life away. They're just like time leeches. Well, turns out there's actually quite a few, well, it's the Bay Area. There's quite a few stores that will ship out things to you. And in the Bay Area, there's even more stores that will just, like, you order stuff online and it'll arrive in your door. At your door. Not in the door. Yeah, I, I just imagine, like, they kick a hole in your door and set it inside the door. Yeah. Like, like, teetering through the middle of the door. Yeah. They, they, they leave it outside the front of the door, on the ground, without hurting your door. And... I'm thinking about I might start doing grocery shopping like that. Like... I'll still go to Target and stuff like that every, once every two months whenever I like, need to get socks and get some you know, medication or whatever. But I can probably have almost everything I eat delivered to my house. You know what I mean? Because all the stuff I have, all the stuff I like to eat, lasts for a long time. Whether it be bread, oh fuck. <laughs> Whether it be bread, like. sandwich meat, like sliced ham or sliced turkey or sliced salami. And that's all in like packages that last for a long time. Bread might not be as long, but bread still lasts for a good time. There might be some food like delivery uh, companies that will, they actually, they, they deliver quicker. So it's not like through the mail system. It's like this, oh, they, they go, they go to Walmart or whatever and they, they distribute from there. So it's like, it doesn't take like a week and a half for it to get to your house. So in that case, probably bread will be okay. And other frozen goods might be good, m might be okay too. Because that makes be actually really nice. We don't, we don't need so many fucking stores. Well, no. We don't need so many fucking stores that are all bland bullshit. We need some, I, we, we need those to kind of die off to where they'll just be like Amazon. Ooh, Amazon. Maybe Amazon ha sells groceries. I never thought about that. Like, can you buy a gallon of milk on Amazon? We're gonna check out. Uh, it's fucking expensive. Amazon. Groceries. Groceries and gourmet food? Sounds expensive. I'm gonna look into it though, because that would be nice not to have to shop. Because it'd be really nice someday if we could just like Walmart and Target and all of them just shut down. They're just like they're just like Amazon, they're just working from some hub and they have trucks come out and they do deliver it to your home. And then all the stores that are left are the nice little mom and pop stores or the tinier stores that do more interesting stuff. Like, I don't know, like bakery shops and stuff like that. Those have a good reason for you to go there because you're getting food that's actually new and it's good food. It's like, it's like bread that just, that's, was just made that morning or whatever. And so yeah, they're pretty cool. Let me look into that. Do any of you guys shop for your groceries online? I know that my my great great aunt, when she uh, she used to live in Omaha, Nebraska. Actually, I think she lived there almost her entire life. Never mind. Yeah, she she lived in Omaha, Nebraska, and she, I think she was on some service. Maybe it's just because she was older, and because it was a service only offered to elderly people that had a harder time getting out of the house, but. It was still, 
she, like in, I think even the late 90s when it started, she would get food delivered to her house. And she would pack a subscription or something like that. So it's like, well, if they've had that in the late 90s, then I wonder how far gro uh, online groceries have come now. Although she didn't have online groceries. She had like, she paid a certain amount of money or whatever. And then they just brought like random stuff. Like generally, what would be good for you? Whatever you know, like, 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 oh, today we've picked this kind of meal. So or, this, this, this week we've picked this like selection of stuff and here you go. But I want to have full control of what I get. Some places even seem to have like free shipping, like Walmart. They don't. They just send through USPS because I actually have ordered from Walmart before. And what I would do with that is, since it's through USPS, I can't really get things that are frozen, and I can't get things that are like expire anytime quickly. So I can only I can goods and non-food items. I don't mind filling up the that list with a bunch of like canned beef stew and spam and stuff like that though that is perfectly fine for me because a that gets to the free shipping mark like like to the fifty dollar mark where you get start getting free shipping but also you get a nice little stash of just canned food I might do that but yeah I don't know still interested to, to know like what good options are there because I don't really know much about online grocery shopping and I'm just sick and tired of going to the grocery store every week. It is so annoying to waste a few hours. I mean, because it's, it's like, it takes like 20 minutes to walk there and 45 minutes to fuck around in the store finding what I want. And then 20 minutes to walk back and it's like, really? Do I really want to waste like an hour and 40 minutes or whatever? Or hour and 20 minutes in... Uh, of my weekend doing that? No. Fuck that. I just want to have the stuff here. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!